the beacon's just about ready to go. Um, we had the keys handed over for the building in the last couple of weeks. So today was about bringing those people in who supported us throughout the journey and, and funded the building and through through one way or another, whether that's um, partnering up on a, on a World of Work zone and funding that or, or funding the upstairs uh, football barn. Everybody who's put money into the building essentially was here today. And it was a bit of a thank you for them and an opportunity for them to see the building as it's progressed throughout the last 18 months or so. Fantastic asset for the foundation, for the for the club, for the city. Um, something that everybody can be proud of. Big prizes don't come easy. It's taken a lot of work and time. You know, it's a 25 million pound project. We've had to fund it all ourselves through the generosity of individuals and people. A lot of people in Britain want to see this happen. Um, you know, national people and uh, generosity of people in the North East can't be matched. You know, they, they haven't got the most in life, but they give the most. The steps, we've got 73 steps, 1973 being the, uh, the critical year for Sunderland fans. Um, so there's an opportunity for businesses or individuals to, to have um, naming rights for those, those steps. So we've sold some of those and we've got branding in place for some of those today. Uh, but equally, we've still got steps left to sell. So, so individuals or businesses who are interested in putting a bit of money back in and it's all going towards the building, towards the charity if they want to come in and, and be partners on delivery of some of our programs around sport, health, well-being, education, employability, skills training. Um, we've got some real partnership delivery partners. We've got somebody special in here called Leslie Spuler and she's got the best team going. Uh, she's more than Premiership and we know we can deliver. We're good at that. We've proved that in the past. Uh, we've got a new factory though and it's going to have a massive output. I mean, it's a unique asset, you know, it's the best in Britain. It just happens to be here in Sunland.